Picture this. It's the middle of the night, and you wake up to find yourself completely paralyzed, unable to move or speak. As you struggle to catch your breath, you notice a shadowy demon hovering over you, its glowing eyes staring straight into yours. You try to scream, but no sound comes out. This isn't a nightmare. It's sleep paralysis. Welcome back, science fans. If you've experienced this, you know how terrifying it can be. But don't worry, you're not alone. It's a phenomenon that affects millions of people around the world. Maybe up to 8% of the population has experienced it. Sleep paralysis is the subject of countless stories, legends, and myths. But what exactly is sleep paralysis, and why does it happen? In this video, we will explore what it is, what causes it, and what you can do if it happens to you. Whether you're a seasoned sleep paralysis survivor, or just curious about this mysterious and spooky phenomenon, we've got you covered with the latest information. So buckle up, turn down the lights, and get ready to learn everything you need to know about sleep paralysis, if you dare. If you like this channel, please subscribe. That's the best way to get it in front of more people. Sleep paralysis is when a person cannot move while they're falling asleep or waking up. In addition to being unable to move, individuals may also experience vivid hallucinations and a sense of impending doom or danger. These experiences can be terrifying and haunt the person long after waking up. If this happens night after night, they may become too afraid to sleep. What do you see during these episodes? Well, you can see whatever your brain makes up. You may see spirits and ghosts, or even aliens. Sometimes these creatures are faceless, such as the blur of a ghost in the corner of your eye. Other times you may hallucinate a detailed creature with sparkling red eyes, horns, and sharp teeth. Science has come a long way over the years, and recent studies have uncovered why people may experience these frightful scenes. Usually, sleep paralysis occurs when transitioning from wakefulness to the REM stage of sleep. REM is the stage of sleep when you have vivid, lifelike dreams. To prevent you from physically acting out these dreams and causing harm to yourself, your brain temporarily paralyzes your body. This process is regulated by chemicals that control the balance between wakefulness and sleep. However, in some cases, you may wake up while still in REM paralysis, resulting in feeling trapped. Essentially, the boundaries between wakefulness and the dream world become blurred. As a result, you're awake and unable to move no matter how hard you try, which is genuinely frightening. In addition to seeing scary creatures, you may feel like a ghost by experiencing feelings of being disconnected from your body. For example, you may see yourself floating outside your body or looking down on yourself from the room's ceiling. In some cultures like Egypt and certain parts of Italy, sleep paralysis is thought to be caused by supernatural forces. People with out-of-body experiences may describe it as astral travel, where their consciousness leaves their physical body and enters a parallel dimension. However, the latest research contradicts this. As cool as it may sound, you aren't traveling to another dimension. Instead, your brain is having trouble creating a sense of self, which is the feeling of being secure in your own body. This sense of self is how we know our body parts from someone else's. Basically, your brain must know that your leg is yours and not someone else's. What happens during sleep paralysis is that your brain gets all confused. It tries to tell your body to move, but since your limbs are temporarily paralyzed, it gets mismatched messages. This impacts your sense of self. Even though your brain doesn't have all the information, it still tries to fill in the blanks and construct a body image anyway, which leads to hallucinations, such as seeing oneself floating in the air or having an out-of-body experience. As we learn more, researchers have recreated these out-of-body experiences in the lab by disrupting a specific brain area called the temporoparietal junction. This part of the brain helps us build our body image. During REM sleep, this area is inactive, which leads to all the crazy dreams we have. But with sleep paralysis, we're awake when we shouldn't be, leading to viewing oneself from a third-person perspective like watching a movie on Netflix, or even feeling like we have been transported into someone else's body. Feeling like you're floating above your body and seeing yourself asleep may be weird. But what's worse is seeing an actual demon standing in the corner of your room. 
These ghostly apparitions may even approach and try to suffocate or hurt you. Scary indeed. There are three main reasons why these hallucinations occur. First, the brain circuits that are critical for understanding the intentions of others may be impacted by sleep paralysis. Usually, you're very good at knowing whether or not someone is standing in front of you. However, in REM sleep, things are different. You may be in the middle of a dream, but confuse it with real life. The barrier between what's real and what's a dream dissolves, and you hallucinate something that really isn't there. Second, the brain is very good at linking events and creating a story. But at night, your mind is asleep, and you consciously won't know what's happening around you. So if for some reason you wake up during REM sleep, and your body is paralyzed, your brain gets confused. It's looking for feedback from your body, and not getting any because it's frozen. The remnants of the dreams you were dreaming are what the brain remembers, and it creates a story about demons slowly stalking toward you from the corner of the room. Third, neurochemical fluctuations in the brain may create the right environment for these ghostly visions. For example, serotonin, an important brain chemical, may be disrupted during sleep paralysis and opens a doorway to communicate easily with the brain. This same doorway, or receptor, is also used by psychedelic drugs like LSD, which can cause mystical experiences. At the right time, activating this receptor allows ghosts to flourish during sleep paralysis, turning a physiological experience into a supernatural encounter. So is there anything you can do to prevent these terrifying encounters? One crucial step is to improve your sleep hygiene. This is one of the most effective ways to reduce sleep paralysis episodes. You can do this by establishing a regular sleep schedule, avoiding caffeine and alcohol before bedtime, and creating a relaxing bedtime routine. Additionally, some medications can help reduce the frequency and intensity of these episodes. For example, scientists have recently found a new drug called Pimavanserin that may help reduce hallucinations during sleep paralysis. But sometimes, these episodes still don't go away. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, or CBT, may be helpful in those cases. CBT is a therapy that can help manage the anxiety accompanying the disorder. CBT helps people to identify the triggers that contribute to their sleep paralysis and teaches them how to confront those triggers. Now you know that science explains why people see demons at night, but have you ever wondered if demons existed in the distant past? I mean, where did all these legends come from? Wouldn't it be amazing to travel through time and see for ourselves? Click on the next video to learn about the physics of time travel and its theoretical possibilities. Until the next time.